Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at a completely different type of pocket operation. This pocket operation is specifically designed for circular pockets. So what we'll do is we'll use this shape here to demonstrate that. So let's head over to the main toolbar, and underneath the cam category, we're going to left click on stock tool pass, and right here you're going to see a command called clean circle. This is a pocket operation, but it's designed specifically for circular pockets. So we're going to left hand click on that, as soon as we do that, you can see our cursor now is square, and that means that it's looking for a, a shape or a group of shapes. I'm just going to left hand mouse click on that, and when we're done selecting, we're going to right hand mouse click. All right, and just like in our previous machining operations, we now have our select tool dialog box. You can see I already have a diameter set at 0.625. This is going to be in turret position number two. I've got a feed rate set at 12 inches. That's my XY feed rate, and I have a plunge feed rate or a Z feed rate set to six inches. That all looks fine. So now we have our clearances dialog box, and I have a rapid clearance plane set to a half inch. My plunge clearance is set to 50 thousandths. That's where it's going to start feeding down. Now, this is where things get a little different. I want to point something out. In our previous video, when we took a look at machining these three pockets, the material top was set to Z0. All right? But remember, each one of these pockets has now been machined to minus 0.75. So now, for material top, you don't want to put 0, you want to put minus 0.75. If I put 0 here, one CNC is going to feed all the way down from 50 thousandths above 0, and then all the way to depth. I don't want that, so I'm going to put in minus 0.75, and you can see that the plunge clearance is an incremental distance from the material Z top. That's designated by these arrows right here. So now, by having a plunge clearance set of 50 thousandths, the tool is going to wrap it in, and it's going to wrap it down to minus 700 thousandths, and then it's going to feed to whatever depth we want. I'm going to make the depth minus 1.1. Okay, that looks good, so we'll click next. And this is how we approach the pocket. There's three different styles here. There's plunge, there's helix, and then there's a zigzag. I'm going to go with a helical entry again, and my ramp angle set to 5 degrees. And notice how you can switch in between conventional and climb cut for this. I'm going to go with a climb cut. We'll click next. Here's our step over. I'm going to make the step over a little smaller just so you can see that it's a it's a circ excuse me, it's a spiral tool path. So I'll make this smaller so you can see the spiral a little better. Gonna use a cut increment of a hundred thousandths. I'm gonna leave twenty thousandths on the wall. Alright, now here we have our finish settings. Now in the previous demonstration I did not use this, but I'm gonna use this now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to bottom. What this is going to do is this is going to finish that pocket at the bottom level only. All right, if we come back here, you can see I left 20 thousandths. By putting bottom only, that means that one CNC is going to remove that 20 thousandths using the exact same tool, but it's only going to machine or finish that at the bottom of the pocket. Notice that you could say, hey, I want to machine at each rough depth. You could do that if you wanted to, or you could set your own depth, but I'm going to go with bottom only for that. You also have the ability to apply cutter comp if you want to for this, G41 or G42, and you can also override your speeds and feeds if you'd like, if you want to kick the speeds and feeds up. I'm going to leave them alone and just click finish. All right, so there you go. There is the circular pocket operation. You can definitely see that it's a spiral toolpath, and it's machining all the way to the depth, and we've wrapped it down to 50 thousandths above the uh, pocket floor and we've machined it so it looks great there. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.